You can tell when major changes are coming to the comms industry because big name analyst firms start to get things hilariously wrong. In January, Gartner made an absolute ass of itself with its ill advised magic quadrant. It's a kind of magic! For 4G and 5G private mobile network services. But this month, it's Deloitte's turn to wear the analyst cone of shame with its latest telecom forecast. Telcos have struggled to, quote, find large use cases that require 5G speeds and features, end quote, says Deloitte, ignoring the fact that the world is actually replete with large use cases that require 5G speeds and features. But they're not consumer apps. They're in heavy industry. Mining, rail networks, ports, utilities, and so on. It's there that 5G is being deployed alongside AI, automation, predictive analytics, and robots to create a golden age of unprecedented industrial profitability, efficiency, and sustainability. Now, governments all around the world are creating sensible, tax-funded policies and programs to accelerate deployment and reinvent their economies but not in the US, the only developed country in the world without a centralized national strategy for digitalization. Instead, America trusts big tech companies to do all that cloud and AI malarkey. That's a fatal miscalculation because big tech companies just aim to make as much money as possible. They're not in the business of building digital infrastructure for the nation's good. And this oversight will certainly cost the US its number one spot in the global economy before mid-century. To me, it's hugely ironic that analyst firms that pride themselves on identifying technology transitions have managed to completely overlook the most significant industrial technology transition of all time. But it also exposes a troubling reality. The United States is losing a crucial technology battle that, thanks in part to crap reports from Deloitte and Gartner, it isn't even aware that it should be fighting.